Hello. So we're here for some Saturday events. It's only going to be a quick one because I'm going to let Conrad train as well. But I've got a little overhead medley. I've got some carry practice with the sandbag and shield, and then a little bit of speed yoke. So it's nice and easy, nice and short, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have a bit of fun. Good vibes in here today. Yeah, yeah. So um, the strongest man in the gym. So James actually went to Iceland. Like he's never he never mentioned it. I think it was like a private holiday. Um, and he actually listed the uh, Usafel, Usafel, whatever it's called, stone. Um, carried it 20 meters, which is pretty fucking mental. To be fair. Not a big deal. 22 actually. But um, yeah, so you now have to address him as Mr. Fullstucker and not actually like James or anything like that. So it's not yeah. Not a big deal. I don't, I'm, not, um, I don't, I'm not a celebrity. It's up to other that's people. That's it. You know, it's like that. if they want to call you a celebrity, then they can. But yeah, like he really never mentioned it. So just warming up, just making sure my glutes are nice and warm and everything. Um, week to go till like next compete, so I'd like to actually stay intact for this one. Um, and then yeah, I think I've spoken about it before, but doing these last couple of comps and then uh, gonna go into like a big sort of building period, and not compete for a good while because it's just silly competing so often. So, but you know, it's it's kind of the balance, like getting experience learning how comps work and the warm-ups and all this stuff and also not competing too often because then you blow yourself out or don't give yourself enough time to actually get stronger so it's a bit of a balance but I'm enjoying it at the moment so just gonna keep going and not not blow out that's the name of the game so yeah Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Very good. That was really strong. That was sick, wasn't it? That was. He's quite strong, isn't he? Really strong. He has his moments. He's really in a dark place now. The last thing he wants to see. You got your breath? Yeah. That was hard. Um, that's like. Just below Conway on the log, pretty much Conway on the axle, Conway on the dumbbell, and then as I said, I've got a block after the dumbbell and the comp, which to be honest with you, I don't think anyone would be able to do, because that's hard. That's really hard. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Just need to really launch that dumbbell, just get it right. Otherwise, it doesn't, it doesn't go. But yeah, happy with that. Oh, next one. Gonna do one or two more. This on is, the uh, other video. This is my coach, I'm what they call the protege. It's my big man, it's my protege. Yeah. The um, apprentice. Yeah, he's wasting away as we can see. Eight kilos Nothing down as of today, mate. Over him. Sorry, mate. Eight oh my kilos god. Down, mate. Wow, those those abs. Abs. <laughs> we call it's quite lean, isn't it? Mm, uh, yeah. yeah, comment below if you think you should compete. After next bolt. After next yeah, bolt. That'll, okay. that'll get the hits up. Yeah, that'll get the let views me, up, mate. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Suck. 
That was good. One more? No. That's it. Three good runs. Failed the first one because I fucked monster dumbbell. Because you need to get in the right line. Um, I've got monster dumbbell tech has worked now. Three sets of three. And then speed yoke and some carry practice. And then stones at home. And then the aim of next week is to not blow out. Um, yeah, I, again, to be honest with you, I don't care about how fast I go or whatever. I just want to get these movements in pain-free. I'm not saying, like, I've, I've made it sound like I'm nursing this injury. I'm really not. Like, it's good, but I don't want to blow out. That's the idea. Like, it's management, you know. I've actually smashed my rehab that my therapist, Vicky's given me. Um, she's a massive help. Uh, it's basically my left glute was weaker. Therefore, my right glute was getting overloaded. And then it just went, nah mate, I've had enough and strain basically. Whenever you get a strain or whatever, it's like it's always your muscles trying to tell you they're doing too much. So if you, you know, if you lift or whatever, you strain your back, the capacity's not there, or it's just trying to tell you you're doing too much. So yeah, you can counteract it with things like sleep, recovery methods, like hot baths or whatever, your nutrition, your hydration, good programming, good sensible structure programming. But and then also just sometimes it does happen, so. You know, just one of those things. But I've rehabbed it, I'm being sensible, and uh, yeah, just not going beyond my means. So yeah, happy with it. Um, with yoke, I feel like your foot speed is very important. I mean, obviously, because yoke is never a max event, it's always a speed event. But um, you obviously need to learn how to stabilize under massive weights, but I feel like my yoke has actually improved when I've gone a little bit lighter. So the most, I've got a 400 yoke next Sunday. The most I've touched is 350 for like 15 meters this prep and that's working around injury and stuff but um just final day you know still a week out but just doing some speed stuff so I get that foot speed going make sure I'm feeling stable under the yoke and uh yeah doing that so if you're used to just loading up the yoke as heavy as you can try some speed runs literally go like 60 percent of your yoke max and just um yeah get some get some foot speed working It's not even heavy, it feels awful. Oh. Move. It's quite light, but sometimes you just got to get it done. Right, we're done. Well, we're not done. I'm going to do some stones at home, but Comrade can't come to that. He's a busy man. He's got a busy life. So I'm going to let him off. I'm going to go do some stones at home and then hopefully not blow out on those. And then that's a good, good, like official end to the prep. 
then it's just deloading this week, chilling out, and uh, yeah, compete next weekend and see what we can do. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you stayed this far, then you're a godsend. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next vid.